Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody? So we have a new time for the uh, the lives that I'm doing. It's now 10 o'clock UK time and that is two hours later than normal. Uh, just want to give you a bit of a reason why I am doing this um, and one of the reasons why is because I create a business by design and I want my business to be uh, around my life rather than my life to be around my business and uh, we are in the last year of GCSEs for my daughter Annabelle and the weather has changed the weather has become a little bit grottier it's raining um, life is a little bit more difficult to get to school so instead of going live at eight o'clock where I can't take my daughter to school every single day I am now going live at 10 o'clock and the reason for that is so I can take my daughter to school every day so I have rearranged these lives they're going to be at 10 o'clock on a Monday or a Wednesday, a Thursday and a Friday and you will see me live on those days after I've done the school run, after I've had my meetings with my team and then I'm live with you. So uh, excited for that, excited to uh, be here and share my ideas. But today is all about the lead funnel, okay? So I want to talk to you a little bit about how to get a flood of leads and the six things that you need to have in place in your accounting firm to make that happen. So can you just comment in the chat box that you can see and hear me as well? I'm just going to check and make sure that you can. I haven't had anyone say that they can't. Um, so uh, yeah, let me know in the chat box if you can see and hear me. That would be absolutely super. Um, right, okay, so let's go through the six things that you need to have a consistent flood of leads coming into your business, okay? The first one is that we need to create content that grabs people's attention. So one one of the things that we need to do is kind of illuminate people's problems and go, hey, here's a problem. Here is why I understand exactly why you're suffering. Here is why you're struggling in your business. This is what you need to do. Um, excellent. You can hear me loud and clear. That's super. So um, this is what you need to do. And um, yeah, this is, this is why you are struggling in your business. So we need to have content that positions you as the expert that shows you know exactly what your client's pains is. The second thing is once we've attracted people to us we need to create a super powerful lead magnet that actually gets people to go from oh my gosh you know what you're talking about to oh this is how I overcome those problems so we start educating people to overcome the problems but a lead magnet is a document it's something that gets people's email address in exchange for a huge useful piece of uh, information. So a lead magnet is what you need next. So you attract attention by content, then you have a lead magnet. The third thing that you need, morning Ashley, how are you doing? The third thing that you need to do is create a really good landing page. Because if you've got a good lead magnet, the landing page needs to convert people. So when they land on your uh, landing page, it needs to be really strong so that people say, actually, this is exactly what I want to do. I want to give you my email address. So that leads me on to the fourth thing that you need, which is a strong call to action. And a strong call to action has to get people to take action that's what it is it's like either download the lead magnet book a call with me you know move yourself along that customer journey and you have to be really specific with your call to actions then the final thing that we need to do is retarget and stay in front of those people that we have attracted into our worlds and we do that through newsletters we do it through retargeting advertising, if you go down the advertising route, and we do it through staying front of mind with more content, with being in people's inboxes, either through their uh, email or through LinkedIn or Facebook, we have to stay front of mind. So that's the six things that you need to have a funnel that takes people, and funnel is the word, we have to take them along that customer journey from pain to solution, and we have to say, this is the pain you've got, and this is the solution to overcome that pain. So the first thing is content that grabs attention. The second thing is develop a powerful lead magnet. The third thing is have a really, really good call to action. Then we have to, um, sorry, great landing page. Then we have to have a great call to action and we have to re-engage those people. The other thing that we need to do before we actually say, right, this is working or isn't working is split test. So maybe have a couple of different lead magnet titles. Maybe decide that you're going to have a couple of landing 
pages and we split test. We split test images, we split test wording. You know, I can actually put a post up with three different headlines and some posts will work and other posts will just fall completely flat, okay? So it's really important that you split test your marketing as well and you can have the same piece of content go out and out and out and out, and out with different titles. So hopefully that's useful to you. Uh, good luck with it. And of course, if you would like some help with actually putting this funnel in place, then please do get in touch. Let me know by either commenting momentum below or messaging me for further information. I'll catch up with you all soon. Have an amazing day and I'll see you at 10 o'clock on Wednesday, not tomorrow, on Wednesday. See you later. Bye.